A former foster parent pleaded guilty to seven counts of criminal contact of a minor. You had an angry jury in Rio Arriba County. 66-year-old Clarence Garcia sentenced to 20 years probation for repeatedly raping an eight-year-old girl in his care. A judge just awarded the girl $485 million for sexual abuse. This jury was trying to send a message, and that message was, if you're going to engage in that kind of conduct, if you're going to be that negligent, if you're going to allow little victims to be hurt like that, you're going to pay. Family Works, a nonprofit company now permanently closed, placed the girl in Garcia's care. The former nonprofit licensed by Children, Youth and Families Department treated and placed severely emotionally disturbed children and young adults from ages 4 to 21 in foster care. So the jury was saying, look, you knew or should have known about this, and you have a responsibility if you're going to be engaged in that kind of business involving children's lives. Court documents show Family Works placed the girl in Garcia's care, even though it knew of sexual abuse allegations against him. This is all a, a part and parcel of the response to what was clearly a, you know, an outrageous and tragic case of negligence and uncaring uh, nonprofit agencies and uncaring people who were overseeing this whole situation. The lawsuit alleges the company violated the Foster Care and Adoption Regulation Act, enacted for the safety and well being of the public. Garcia is now convicted of violating his probation. You have a civil jury that's angry, and now he's going to face a judge who's probably pretty angry as well.